everyone. Thanks for stopping by and spending a little of your day with me. Today I have something special for you. I'm going to do a collab. I'm doing a collab with Lynn from the channel Cool Gray. We're going to do a special dish. We're going to both do a dish and we're going to call it French toast two ways. Sound yummy? And these are dishes that we can make ahead. They're fantastic for breakfast, for brunches, uh, for the morning after a holiday. They're so good and so easy to make. Let me tell you something about Lynn first. Lynn hails from Florida and she has a cooking channel, same as I do. She's a home cook. Lynn has many of her recipes that she's um, made up on her own, their original recipes. She uh, has a lot of her favorites. She even has some international recipes on her channel. And uh, she shared them all for you. Lynn even has a playlist on her channel. She's an artist. And if you go on to her playlist, you can see some of her wonderful artwork. So, as we go along, I'm going to show you how I make my French toast in a crock pot. And then Lynn, when you go on over to her channel, and I'll put the link below, she's going to show you how to make her French toast. So, don't forget, at the end of the video, go visit Lynn on the channel Cool Gray subscribe to her channel. She has some fantastic recipes on there. So, oh, one thing I wanted to mention, I'm not positive, but I think Lynn named her channel Cool Gray after her beautiful cool gray hair that you'll see when I insert a photo of her. So are you ready, cameraman? Shoot. All righty, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you now how I make my slow cooker French toast. It's always a big hit in my family. Do you like it, Cameron? Of course. Yeah, I mean, I have an Easter egg hunt at my house every year for my grandsons. And uh, I prepare part of this the night before, put it into the crock pot in the morning, plug that baby in. And in a few hours, we have the most delicious French toast. So here we go. What do you think you need for French toast? Do you know, cameraman? Toast. No, wrong. Oh. You need a loaf of French bread. Now, this is French bread that we purchased earlier today. They also have French bread that looks like a baguette. And honestly, if you don't have French bread, you can probably cut up Italian bread, but I'm using French bread. So let me take this baby woo, out of the bag. Whee! Okay, now be good, cameraman. I'm going to smack you with this. <laughs> well, if you do, wait till my mouth's open. Oh, very funny. All right, I'm going to take a, a knife here, and what you want to do is you want to cut up your bread into small pieces. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, that's the end. I'll have to leave that a little larger, but the pieces are going to be, let me show you, I would say probably about that size. Somewhere around that size. You don't have to be perfect with this. But you're going to cut them up into cubes. That's what I wanted to say. Cubes! All right. Oh, this bread smells very good. Mmm. It all might not make it into the pot. <laughs> Told you I was cray-cray. What can I tell you? No boring baking channels here. Right, cameraman? That's for sure. All right. So what I'm going to do, for the sake of time, I'm going to get all of this cut up into cubes. Now the cameraman's not going to like this because it's not the directions I gave him in the beginning for when to cut it. But cameraman, 
cut it now in a minute while I finish cutting up this bread and I'll be right back. I've cut up all the bread, as you can see, into cubes. I'm gonna move this out of the way and then I'm gonna take a large bowl. And in that large bowl, I'm gonna put all of this bread. So let me pop it all into the bowl. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this. Ooh. It's a lot of bread. I'm gonna have a lot of hungry mouse to feed. All righty, so let me move this out of the way. So we have all the bread in this large bowl. I'm gonna put that bowl over here and then I'm gonna take another bowl, a little smaller bowl. And in this bowl, I'm going to put six eggs. Two cups of regular milk. And I'm gonna put in there one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon's supposed to be very good for you too. Right, cameraman? Of course. All right. Now I'm going to take a spoon. Well, first I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to mix all the eggs and the milk and the cinnamon together. It smells so good. I love the smell of cinnamon. I've been making um, a lot of toast in the morning and I've been putting cinnamon on my toast. It's yummy. Did I ask you, cameraman, if you like cinnamon? No, you didn't ask me. Do you like cinnamon? I believe I do. All right, so I'm mixing this very well with the whisk. Okay. Now, does anybody know what I'm going to do next? Do you know, cameraman? Uh, take a bath. No. Next, I'm going to bring back over my big ball of bread, and I'm going to pour this egg and milk and cinnamon mixture on top of all the bread. Now I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna mix all of that together because you wanna get all of your bread coated with the mixture. Sometimes it's easier to just put your hand in there and mix it around, but I'll do this with the spoon. You're gonna have some milk left over in the bottom, but the bread should absorb most of the um, eggs and the milk and the cinnamon. Okay, this looks good. It looks all coated. You can see that it's um, like little sponges absorbing the mixture. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside now and next, I'm going to take a small dish or a small bowl. And in this, I'm going to put a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm going to put butter. Don't use margarine. Put butter in there. And I'm going to put in, I believe it's a quarter of a cup. It is, it's a quarter of a cup of slightly softened butter. And I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I've been making this for a long time and everybody always asks me for the recipe. Always comes out good. It's a no brainer. All right, I'm going to um, wipe my hands first. All right, I'm going to take um, a fork and I'm going to blend this. I'm just going to kind of chop it up here. Almost like when you know you're making a cake, like a crumb cake, and you want to make the crumbs for the top. So we're going to get that done in there. Mmm, smells good. 
So we want to crumble up the butter. Okay. So we have the crumbled butter mixed in with the brown sugar and the vanilla. Okay. I'll hold this up for you. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Hopefully with my new camera, we can zoom in on this, but this is basically what you want it to look like. So let me hold that up. Can you get that cameraman? Sure can, just hold it still. Okie dokie. Stay there. Okie dokie. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my bread mixture, I'm gonna cover it. If you don't have a lid, cover it with aluminum foil. Gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. Then I'm also going to take my crumble mixture. I'm gonna cover that and I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator also. And that's all we have to do for now. So tomorrow morning, I'll be back and I'll show you what we do next. Diva, Diva, wake up. It's time, it's time, come on. Diva. What? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, everyone. Let me just take a sip of my coffee first. Mmm, so good. Like my Betty Boop mug. Um, I put a, I'm in my jammies. I put a little lipstick on so I wouldn't frighten you this early in the morning. But we're ready to put our ingredients into the crock pot. So let me move it over here. Oh, I gotta take another sip of coffee. I'm not awake. I am not a morning person, right, cameraman? That's an understatement. Mm. I never needed an alarm clock all the years I was working. Cameraman always woke me up. He's an early bird. Mm. All righty. So I put the bread mixture in the refrigerator overnight. Um, and also I put my crumble mixed. Right now it's important that you um, grease your crock pot. I happen to have a ninja crock pot. I love it. It's one of these crock pots. Uh, let me turn it around slowly and see if you could see the other side. Um, I love it. It doesn't only slow cook, but it also can be used to brown in and um, I love it because if you have to brown your meat first or you know saute a vegetable first you can actually do it in the crock pot I keep saying crock pot call it what you want a <laughs> crock pot or you can call it um, slow cooker this recipe is actually called a slow cooker French toast but I love this thing um, I got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link in there if anybody's interested. It's called the cooking system. It does stovetop cooking, oven cooking, and slow cooking. So anyway, I'm going to take some butter and I am going to grease the inside of my crock pot. It is a non-stick, but I still, you need to grease it because you don't want your French toast sticking to everything. I'm ready for breakfast. Are you cameraman? Surely. This looks good. Okay. Um, now this recipe, you can either slow cook it for four hours on low or two hours on hot. So I'm going to do this for two hours this morning because I'm starving and I got to wake myself up. So here I have the bowl of the ingredients that's been um, in the refrigerator. I'm going to put this ingredients now in my crock pot. There we go. Move that around. And I should have told you that um, when I have my company and I have family over and I have the grandkids over, I double this recipe. So you can do this too as long as you're um, slow cooker is big enough. Now here's my crumble mix. Remember this from um, yesterday? So I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm going to put my crumble mix on top. Ooh. 
real good. And this is really all there is to it. I'm gonna turn this baby on high for the two hours. And uh, then we'll be all ready to eat. Are you ready to eat this cameraman? Surely. All right. So by the time I get dressed, wake up, and um, get myself together, this will be all ready for breakfast. So I will see you soon. I'm back and breakfast is ready. Let me call the cameraman. Cameraman, breakfast is ready. Okay, dear, thanks very much. I'll be right there. Don't take too long. I don't want it to get cold. Listen to my parrots. They're screaming now. They think I'm calling them for breakfast. So I'm hungry. Let me scoop this yummy French toast out of here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh boy. Smells so good. Look at this. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh boy. Mmm, mmm, good. So I'm going to put a little bit of syrup on mine. Uh, if you don't like to put syrup on, you can put fresh fruit on, um, banana slices, whatever you like. You hear the birds? They think I'm calling them for, for breakfast. So remember I cooked this for two hours on high in my slow cooker. And um, just before I get started eating and feeding my face, um, I want to remind you all that if you like this recipe and you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the bottom and hit the little bell next to it because YouTube has it set up that if you don't hit that little bell, you won't get a notification and I can get lost in the billions of um, YouTubers out there and you may never see me again. So. This was a collab, you know, with Lynn from Cool Gray. That's her channel. She has a wonderful channel. She makes a lot of these recipes, home style recipes, just like mine. So when this video is over, look in the description box below and click on her link. And don't forget to visit Lynn at Cool Gray and tell her that Dolores, the baking diva, sent you. Okay? So now it's time for me to dig in. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. This is so good. I have never eaten with food in my mouth. I've never made this French toast in the slow cooker where it hasn't come out good. Everyone likes it. So like I said, if you have more than two or three in your family, double the recipe because it'll go very fast. So I want to thank my cameraman for his assistance. Thank you, cameraman. You're welcome, Diva. I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching my channel. I'm very thankful for all the support. Thank you, Lynn, for doing this collab with me. Lynn is a small YouTuber just starting out, so show her some love. And I am going to finish eating my breakfast because I'm hungry. Toodles!